was Tyler Green, Richard Tyler Green, or RTG, and um, I got into lighting because my mom was a dance teacher. She didn't give that up when she became a mom. She kept doing it, and she dragged us to the dance school. It would pay the uh, other girls to watch uh, us, uh, the three of us, I had a younger sister and a younger brother, while she would teach dance and take her dance lessons and they would rehearse for the show. One of my first memories as a kid is is going to these dance recitals. They were in the, the local high school auditorium, which was the, the uh, legitimate theater, you know, and they had um, bought used lighting equipment so they had the like original lighting equipment and theatrical equipment and, and stuff that they had bought f for this theater and um, I went to my mom's dance recital and it was every summer the first one that stands out in my mind is we went uh, to this and my mom and we watched the whole show and I was like oh it's really amazing and it was like watching a movie and my mom said you want to go backstage and I was like what is backstage so uh, she took my hand, we walked through the door and behind the proscenium, and then came um, uh, onto the stage, and we walked past the light board, and it looked like something out of a Frankenstein movie. It had these big, huge levers, and all of the dimming and stuff was built in. It was mechanical. Uh, like I said, it was old technology in this theater, and there was a guy named Bill that was operating the lights, and there was all of this uh, mechanics and colored lights and wonderment, and I didn't know... I saw on stage how the lights, the stage changed color, but I didn't know there was different lights to make the different colors. Uh, and at that moment, I knew I wanted to be a lighting guy. And I was, and uh, my mom introduced me to Bill, the guy who was doing lights. And I think that I probably begged her every single day for those, for the 360 four days <laughs> until we got to uh, the time it was time to do the recital and they let me help and so I think I was seven at the time by the time I was eight I was already backstage and and, and knew that's what I wanted to do and um, and uh, I've really not really done much else since I've just always been kind of like a moth to uh, the flame with with lighting and I started out doing classical dance lighting and I thought that was it and then I got into doing theater because I thought that would be fun. And then I got into doing TV because it paid better. Um, and then I got into music because I was a rebel. You know, as an eight-year-old, a lot of people didn't were saying, I want to do lighting and going to the theater. You know, they're not going to give me an opportunity. But these people at the dance school uh, op were open and they let me do kind of... Um, anything I wanted to that I could help with. You know, they told me what I could help with, what I couldn't. But they let me be a part of it. And that was... That was uh, really awesome for me as a kid and really stuck with me. And so the theater and the arts were always a place where I felt at home and always wanted to be there, you know, um, on a stage or behind a stage uh, helping out with the technical aspects of it. Utopia is it's a regional Burning Man event that one of my close friends uh, advised that I attend and said that I should, you know, try to bring some art do some lighting with it but I also found out I could bring my son so and I thought that might be a cool place for him to kind of get to see what I do uh, for fun and professionally I, and so we got involved with a camp called space camp and we um, we provided a uh, star lighting and a uh, space themed kind of thing and worked with their creative people and they took us right in as their family and it was again a, something that we kind of felt at home with last year uh, my son and I um, were so stoked the first year that we went that we wanted to do more we brought um, our our lighting and stage rig that we created together uh, and, and took it to Utopia and Utopia helped us get there and our friends helped us get there and we, we set it up and had an amazing experience and so we're trying to go back this year and, and we've uh, improved on the show we already did um, we took our stage, which is called Sci Fighter, to a regional burn in Santa Cruz called Unscrews, and, and we're able to do a scaled down version of what we do. And then we're hoping this October to take uh, a bigger and more badass version of Sci Fighter and uh, provide a stage for people to create on. So, Sci Fighter is a structure and a, like a light show that my son and I created. We were doing uh, mainstream festivals in 2016 and got away from that for various reasons. Um, 
and one of them is my son was growing up and going to start school and we needed more time with each other and, and have some more uh, structure in our lives and we also needed a creative outlet. We ended up um, getting some like nasty like like flu virus and, and we were sick for like two weeks. It was when he was in preschool so there was a ton of germs in preschools like germ factories so we kept getting sick over and over again and, we, and during this time we were missing school, missing work um, and out of work because we weren't doing the festivals anymore we were watching a bunch of science fiction and, uh, and watching Doctor Who, Star Trek and Star Wars uh, reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, and just uh, and doing a lot of space and science fiction themed entertainment while we were sick. Uh, we started kind of having this discussion um, whether, what if the characters from these uh, events like like what if we had our own spaceship and they would like come help us when we got in trouble or we would go help them when they got in trouble and so we kind of sketched it out and and you know I build stages and thought it would be a cool idea to have a, a structure that was themed that that was like a vehicle for exploration of music and so we made a soundtrack and we made the structure and then in, by the time it was 2017 the summer we, we did our first uh, installment and just invited all our friends and family and uh, and built the stage and structure and just sat down and, and watched the, the show. The, the idea is twofold that it's a mission of teamwork and combining elements of, of, of technology that aren't normally combined and bringing them together in new and exciting ways, bringing people together in new and exciting ways, taking the um, the way that we that we create lighting and sound and combining them. Normally there's different people doing it, uh, but we want to take it where one person might be able to present their art in a different way by, by combining the lighting and the sound and then using music to drive it instead of just making a movie for people to watch. We're trying to create a, a system where uh, we tickle all your senses at once um, you know, uh, at the same time. So it's, uh, it's kind of more of a thing. It's kind of hard to describe in words. You kind of need to come see it. Uh, it's like a scratch and sniff, you know, where, where, um, you know, you can't even capture it on your phone. Um, and so we're trying to make something that people can come be a part of, you know, we always have sci fighters big on audience participation where we, you know, last time when we were in Santa Cruz, we had an alien that escaped, but the alien, could only be captured by dance and so we had to dance to um, capture this alien that was loose wreaking havoc on the camp and all the people came together and danced so we could capture this alien so you know we're big on bringing things that might not fit and, and, and we're also a bit of a freak show where things that might not belong in other places seem to find a home on Sci Fighter and, uh, and, 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 and they're welcome aboard our ship and on our, and on our mission um, and so that, that's a big um, uh, part of our mission as well. Utopia this year is going to be in California City and it's on October. The event starts on the 23rd and it goes to the 27th I believe um, and then you know they're set up before but um, it's basically four days of music and art. It's a mini Burning Man um, that's more f I think more more family and um, I don't know because I can't sp I don't want to like spoil it because it's a new location for this event and I've never done the Big Burning Man so I, I can't speak to that but the other fathers that I've talked to and parents uh, we all kind of agree that not it almost be a crime like not to take your kids to this because uh, they belong and and they feel like they belong there and and you know it's it's fun for the adults and it's fun for the kids too uh, and it's the most fun when you experience it together with the people that you love and I think that's what it's all about. My website is um, rtgshow.com, or uh, you can also kind of see my personal page at richardtylergreen.com. I'd like to thank uh, Volrock. Thank you, guys.